Here's a fun fact from the movie Black Hawk Down. You see this quote behind me where my actor, a guy by the name of Brian Van Holt, is having this conversation with another ranger in Somalia. By the way, Brian Van Holt did an absolutely amazing job in this movie. I'm very proud of the way that his role turned out. Actually, I'm proud of the whole movie. He makes this statement in the movie that actually really did happen. It didn't say exactly what you hear, but it was pretty much the same conversation. This is between me and another guy who was struggling with going back out there in what looks like it is an insane, a suicide mission. And basically, this actor who's portraying me says, it's what you do right now that makes all the difference. All right, it's what you do right now that makes a difference. There's two things about this moment that really stand out in my mind. One, it's an issue of fear and real courage is not possible. There is no such thing as courage if there is not real fear. Let me say that a different way. Without fear, you don't have courage. If somebody is on a battlefield and they have no fear whatsoever of what's happening around them, they're clinically insane and they're not really being courageous, they're being a little bit crazy. So in this scene in the movie Black Hawk Down, you really have what's going on in everybody's mind. It's in my mind, it's in the minds of everybody in the helicopters and in the city streets that day. What we're doing next could get all of us killed. And the reason why this scene is so important, first, because it honestly addresses the real fear of going out into combat. In fact, right before this moment happened, one of the greatest combat leaders I've ever had the privilege of working with in my life, at the time he was a major, he was our battalion liaison officer, his name was Major Craig Nixon, and Craig came up to me and said, Jeff, you need to talk to your men before they go back out into the city streets because they're looking at you and they're scared and they need some advice. And Craig reminded me, Jeff, when I went to combat for the first time, I went into a, a part of the terrain that had a lot of enemy and I went in through an intense firefight and then I got pulled back and then I got pulled or put right back into that same area and Jeff, I will never forget what it took to go back in a second time. He's saying, we're asking you to go right back into this same area a second time. Here's the words that Major Craig Nixon used with me in Somalia that have stuck with me forever. It's one thing to go into a firefight that you don't know what you're going into, what we would call a hot LZ, meaning lots of enemy in this LZ landing zone. Craig said, it is a whole nother thing. It takes a whole different caliber of person to go back into the same hot LZ a second time. Because the first time you don't really know what you're getting into. The second time you know exactly what you're getting into. And now Jeff, we're sending you and your men back into a hot LZ a second time. And so during this conversation that really took place in Somalia, with me and one of those guys that was in the Humvees with me. I acknowledge the fact that he's scared. I'm scared, all of us are scared. That's how the conversation really went. And then I basically said, it's what you do when you are afraid. It's what you do right now is what the movie says. I use this words, it's what you do when you are afraid that makes all of the difference. And let me tell you why it makes all the difference. Because life is gonna throw some scary stuff your way. And you really have one of two options when those really intense situations happen. You can run away and hide, or you can step up and face it. And standing up and facing the scary stuff the first time gives you a little bit more courage to stand up and face the scary stuff the second, the third, the fifth, the 20th time. If you run away, you may not ever have to deal with those scary circumstances, but you're not gonna be ready when the scary stuff happens the second or the 20th time. A friend of mine who was in Somalia and who survived this 
He likes to use this language and I really think he's nailed it on the head. When you're in these very few moments of life where everything is total chaos and you're freaking out because it's really scary, make a decision in that moment. What kind of person do you wanna be when you're bouncing your children or your grandchildren on your leg 20 years from now? What do you want to tell them about yourself? What do you want to feel when you look in the mirror? Make a decision about what kind of person you want to be and then go do that thing. So I'm looking at this guy in this scene in Black Hawk Down and I just simply tell him, it's not the fear that matters. It's not even how intense the situation is that matters. What matters is what you do right now. And by the way, that guy, stayed around in the army for an entire career. In fact, I just did a podcast episode with him last November. Brad Thomas is one of the most heroic guys I've ever met in my life. And this moment is one of the most courageous things I've ever seen. Brad would go on to stay in the army for a long time and go do a whole lot more dangerous and more difficult stuff, actually more difficult than Somalia. And the reason why he could do those other things in the future is because of the way that he rose to the challenge right there. So it really is what you do right now. It really is how you handle the fear that makes all the difference. And my challenge for you, as you watch this Black Hawk Down fun fact, is no matter how bad the circumstances, it may look like it is a suicide mission and there is no hope of survival, no matter how hard the circumstances, how difficult the situation. What you do in those moments will make the difference. It will make the difference in the kind of man or the woman that you are when you look in the mirror 20 years from now. It will make the difference in the way that you handle even bigger even scarier things 20 years from now. So what you do when you're scared makes all the difference. I hope this has helped you. See you next time.